Okay, we have here to another interesting integral. This one's from the Columbia integration, be 2022, number eight. We have the integral of one over one plus tan x dx. Okay, I really just went for the first method I thought of, and that was multiplying through by cosine x, just because it's a little hard to deal with one plus tan x in the denominator. So I'm gonna multiply by cosine x. And the reason I'm doing that is I wanna transform this into sines and cosines. So let's see what happens when we multiply that, and we're gonna have we're gonna have cosine x in the numerator. And then cosine x times one is gonna give me a cosine x, and then cosine x times tan, seeing tan as sine over cosine, the cosines cancel. And so this is gonna give me sine x plus cosine x in the denominator. And at this point, I have a method that I really like to use when we have just sines and cosines, and all of our coefficients are one. I can actually do this when all of our coefficients are the same. In this case, they all happen to be one. And so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and set up a u substitution, even though I don't know if it's gonna work yet. So I'm gonna make my u the whole denominator, sine x plus cosine x. I'll take a derivative. du is gonna be cosine x minus sine x dx. And basically what's happening is I wish that was my numerator, but it's not, I just have cosine x there. So what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna kind of force this to happen and then try to figure out what we do afterwards. So I'm gonna create an integral that's gonna look just like this. So I'm gonna create it like sine x plus cos x, and then my numerator is gonna be this thing. So we're gonna have cosine x minus sine x dx. And now of course, that's not the same as this. So we could just create another integral to adjust. Look, I could create an integral with sine x in the numerator, and that would cancel with this. But that's not really what I want. I wanna kinda of create another integral that I want. So what I'm gonna do here, I wanna create an integral that's just one. So I'm gonna create this like sine x plus cos x, with the same denominator. And now this would be great if it worked, right? Because this is one, so we don't wanna do that. And this we have set up our u substitution, so this one's easy. The only thing is maybe it's not the same as this. So let's just add up our numerators and see what happens. So if we added these together, we have sine x minus sine x, so the sines cancel, but we end up with two cosine x. Well, we need a one here. It's really easy to fix. We just multiply by one half in front here and here. And now if you were to just put these back together, you'll notice the sines still cancel half cos x plus half cos x gives me one cos x. So I haven't changed it and we've set up two really easy integrals. So then just to make this clear, we're gonna have, this is just gonna become one dx that we're integrating. And this over here, we already have our u substitution. So this is gonna be just du over u. We'll integrate really quick. This is just gonna be integral of one's just x. So we're gonna have half x plus half natural log absolute value. But then for our u, I'm just gonna back substitute all in one step and plug that in. So we have our u value, which is gonna be sine x plus cos x. Should I squeeze in a plus c here? Just add a plus c and that's it. Okay, good quick problem. We'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.